Video game films are in a league all their own, and after doing some of the best video games ever the other day, it got us thinking about the downright awful. Video game films tend to have a much lower bar anyways, so for these to be bad, it means they're pretty damn terrible. I'm Jeff from Game Stinger, and here are five of the worst video game films of all time. Also, remember to subscribe if you like our content, or if you want to win a PS5. We'll be giving one away, but only to our subscribers. So make sure you hit that button and stay tuned to hear how to win. Number 5. House of the Dead I bought this one from a pawn shop a few years back, and I think I literally threw it away afterwards. It was so bad I wanted my dollar back. I don't know what was worse. The Sega Party raves, the horrible acting, even for a video game film, or the jump cuts that make you want to vomit. This is a you bowl film, and that should tell you about everything you need to know about it. It does contain a lot of clips from the game though, so I guess that's how they tied it into it. If you haven't seen this film, I wouldn't bother. And buckle up, because there's a lot of you bull on this list. Number 4. Blood Rain Well, that didn't take long. We could honestly probably do an entire top 20 list of god-awful you bull films. Who keeps giving him money? But for him to pop up twice already in a top 5 video game movie list is something of an accomplishment. Not even the performance of Michael Madsen could save this film. Not to mention other actors like Billy Zane, Ben Kingsley, and even Meatloaf. Why did they sign up for this film? It combines the stories of the first and second games in a weird and awful way, producing one of the worst adaptations ever. Number 3. Street Fighter. I don't think we can even watch this as a guilty pleasure anymore, can we? Sure, Raul Julia's performance may have stood out, but in a film like this, that may not be saying much. Jean-Claude Van Damme stars in this adaptation that really doesn't bear much, if any, resemblance to the original game. If you're going to make a video game film, shouldn't people be able to tell what it is without the title on the cover? Thankfully, Street Fighter II, the animated movie, came out the same year and helped us forget whatever the hell this was. Number 2. Alone in the Dark Oh look, you bull again. We really tried not to trouble up on this guy, but he's just awful. Not only did he make House of the Dead and Blood Rain, but he made this pile of poop as well. Over and over, this film has been ranked as the number one worst video game adaptation of all time. It speaks for itself with a 1% on Rotten Tomatoes. However, we have something different for our number one. Just, you know, for the sake of being different. This film has everything, though. Dumb archaeologist, cringe sex scenes, borrowing the Matrix slow motion gunfight, and Tara Reed. Yep, nothing to see here. Number one, Max Payne. This is a little personal to me. I've never been so disappointed in my life. Being such a big fan of the original game, from the amazing story, the neo-noir feeling of it, and the perfect voice acting of James McCaffrey, the game sits as one of my top favorites of all time. This made a film about it alluring, until I caught wind of Wahlberg's involvement, and I actually watched the damn film. Now, Wahlberg isn't necessarily a bad actor, but he's definitely not the Max Payne I knew and grew up with. This movie is terrible. The only thing that gave me hope was Donald Logue as Alex Balder. To me, that seemed perfect. Unfortunately, that fell flat as well. There have been fan films that look and sound better than this thing. It's a travesty. Maybe someday we'll get the Max Payne film we deserve. So what do you think? What video game film completely missed the mark for you? Let us know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to stay up to date with gaming news and updates at GameStinger, and be sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube for great videos, news, and gameplay.